Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the part 3 of our tic-tac-toe game implementation using Amre 3D. My name is Pindeni and of course, I'll continue to remind you if you are a fan of games in general and you enjoy my content on the Amri 3D community channel here, please go to the please try this channel. There is a link right in the description below that will take you to my channel. Just go there, show some love subscribe like and share my content i talk about the indie game industry and i'm even making my own personal amri 3d bullet hell indie game i have my tutorials also there so if you're a game fan go to the please try this channel and have all of me on the previous video we managed to add mouse sensitivity to our cells now it's time to span the nodes and the crosses so let's do this Right, first of all, we want to create the cross. So what we are going to do here, there is this cursor which is right at the origin and uh, I hope you can see it if you are following this tutorial. We are going to shift A and add new text. And this text, we will press tab to go into edit mode so that we edit what is written and then backspace and then I'm going to add X. This will act as our cross. Then we are going to press tab to come out of edit mode and what we are going to do is we want to fit this uh, cross in this cell. So let's go GY a little, GX a little. So it's kind of small. If you like this size, it's fine, but I like my things bigger. So I'm going to press S to scale and I'm going to double up by two. Let me just see how it will look if it is spanned in this cell. I think I like what I'm seeing. So, what we are now going to do, if you see this X, let me zoom in, you see there's a small dot orange, which depicts the center of origin. We want to change it from here to here, right at the center of this uh, cross. So, to do that, we are going to left click this cross, right, and go on object, and then set origin, and then we are going to set the origin to center of mass surface. So, left click there. And you see the small orange has moved right to the center of this cross. Very, very, very important. Now let's add material to our cross. So let's go on material, new, and then this material we'll call it cross, right? And uh, you can choose any color you want. I'll go with red for my crosses. Uh, I want it more a bit lighter, like this. So, yeah, okay, it's fine. Uh, we can change later if it doesn't work, but I'm happy with my cross. One final thing to do is to go here and change its name from text to cross, like so. Then we can put it away from the camera. So, GX, let it go somewhere far. Now, let's make its counterpart the notes. So, Shift A, Mesh, and then uh, let's add the text not mesh, it's text, where is text, okay. Now let's go tab and edit and let's add a uh, capital letter O like this. Just like we did to the crosses, what we are going to apply on this note. So S by two, like so. And then we need to change if we move it like so, GX. You see the center of origin is here. We want it to be at the middle. So while selecting the note, let's go set origin mass like so so that this small uh, origin will be right at the center of our mesh now let's add material and uh, we can go here new and this material i'll just call it the knot like so and i'm going to go with uh green maybe uh a bit uh, okay lighter okay let's put it light green you can choose the color of your choice of course now, GY, GX, just to see if it fits well, and I'm happy with what I'm seeing. Let's change the name here, and we'll call it NOT, NOT, like so. Now, let's put it away from the camera, like so. Lovely. And then I'm going to save. Now, let's go to our script. What you want to do, remember on the last video, we managed to add more sensitivity. If you click this cell, it says A. If you click this cell, B. Now, what we want to do is if you click, it spans maybe a cross. And for this video, I think we'll be done. So that's what we want to do. 
So let's edit where is our camera here. That's where we attached our script object. And let's go on this uh, our script here, the game controller, and edit. So, okay, my code studio is up and running. Now, what we want to do here, right, if user presses left key, uh, okay, let me close these pop-ups. We recast it, of course, and we got the object that has been clicked. Now, what we want to do is we want to span something on this object. And to do that, we are going to go ion.scene.active dot span like so span object we are about to span an object and we have three arguments uh the key arguments the first one is the name uh so for the first uh, one we'll span the cross so let's span cross like this name is the one which we used uh remember here right and then the other argument is the parent we'll go with now and then the other one is the function when we are done. Okay, I missed the spelling, so I'm coming back. Function. And this function, it is going to accept an argument now. So we're going to call it cross. And it's of type ion.object.object. .object, like so. And then we add the braces. And remember to terminate here. Now, what do we do in the middle? We want this cross to be spanned right where the mesh which has been clicked is. So to do that, we're going to say x, okay, it's cross, sorry, cross dot transform dot lock dot set. Now we're going to set the location and the location is the one of this all, this object that has been clicked. So it will be all dot transform dot lock dot x the x coordinate okay and let's do for the y dot transform dot lock dot y and for the z it doesn't matter maybe i'll go with zero uh because our game is more say 2d right now what we are going to do of course we need to activate these changes so cross dot transform dot build matrix so that our engine updates after spanning so if you left click, it is going to span across wherever you left click. That is the expected result. Let us see if all is well. So I'm going to go back uh, here. Let me go on the renderer, clean and play. So there is our uh, tic-tac-toe grid. Now let's test if I left click here. Oh yes, you can see the cross has been spanned. If I left click here, yes, if you do this, you have won the game. So this is lovely. This is lovely. This is lovely. So for this video, I think that is all right. That is okay. On the next video, we're now adding turns. Like if player one adds his cross, player two adds his not, and then life goes on. So thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you. Please do remember to subscribe, like, and share. And also go and check out the please try this channel for more of me and also subscribe like and share my content thank you very much